I don't have cancer, y'all. Isn't that awesome news? So, that was like the most fun doctor visit I have ever experienced. I told him that too, and I couldn't stop cracking them up. <laughs> also, because like, the nurse practitioner was black, so she thought I was fucking hilarious. Like, she was still laughing right when I, I, uh, I left, uh, whatever you call it. You know how they have, like, you know, the area where they, they do everything, and then, like, you go into, like, the waiting room? I'm so funny. <laughs> So apparently I have psoriasis though. See, I didn't know that. So I guess that's why I went to the doctor's office. That visit's probably gonna be like $200, but they told me something that I didn't know. So that's cool. Cause I was wondering what all this shit was about. You see that? Cause like, I thought it was just because I masturbated too much. <laughs> well, sometimes it gets intense, you know. <laughs> I know that you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, if y'all ever masturbated and you're just like, ugh, you know. <laughs> no, nobody in the vortex is, is that serious about it? All right, well, you guys just suck at it. I'm having a way better time. Um, okay, so I think that's up right. Oh, fuck. Yeah, but she checked me out, man. She checked me out and she said, you don't have anything to worry about. She's like, and you don't go out in the sun. You know, fuck that. I'm, I'm mad. I'm mad right now that I have to experience the sun. Fuck this shit. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm a pretty funny person. And like, I'm realizing that, like stand up is really, really hard. Stand-up is a really rough art form. And it, it's a really rough form of entertainment because, like, I, I, I wrote some of my assessments <laughs> while I was waiting in the waiting room. I uh, wrote some assessments of last night's experience. See, I don't think that other people do this shit. <laughs> I don't think that other comics, I mean, they, they probably do take notes sometimes of like, you know, how certain jokes work and how they, they don't work or, you know. Well, that's the whole thing though. You have to have self-awareness in order to be good at it. So it's like, there's really no way that I couldn't be good at it because of all the self-awareness that I possess. But, Put on your seatbelt, baby. You just don't know. You don't know who's lurking. <laughs> really don't know. They, they're lurking fucking everywhere, man. I saw a cop on the way here. I didn't mention it, though, because I think I've been mentioning it too much. <laughs> There's so many opportunities you can mention a cop roaming around because it happens so frequently in this town. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going back home because I think I left my chocolate milk on the counter. And that's expensive as chocolate milk. It's like almost $5. Fuck that shit. You say fuck that shit and you still buy it. Yeah, but it's good. <laughs> it's like you could drink the generic shit. But if I drank the generic shit, it would taste like the generic shit. Fuck that. It would be $2, though. I like how purity 
isn't pure at all. <laughs> See, I said some jokes last night that were like really fucking lame, but I said the lame jokes so that I could do like jokes that, that piss people off. Oh, speaking of the 5 0, we could pull up right next to him. Why don't we, why don't we wave? We should wave at him. Don't wave at him. Please don't wave at him. Jesus Christ. Please don't wave at him. I know that you're tempted to wave at him. <laughs> He's going that way. He's going that way. Did y'all see him? Well, he was right next to me. <laughs> you should have filmed him. Like, I'm watching you. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I said some stupid ass joke last night, but when I when I thought of this joke, I thought it was really clever. Has anybody outside of Nashville heard of the Nashville sounds? Oh, the irony. <laughs> They're a baseball team, okay? They're a really, really, really lame ass baseball team. Obviously not major leagues. But I think I've been to like two, possibly three sounds games and they were all fucking lame. Now, of all the sports that exist, I feel like baseball is the only one that I could roll with. Mainly because I can actually follow it. <laughs> like I can see the ball. <laughs> It's not that I can't see the ball. I mean, the thing is with hockey, I can't keep up with that damn puck. It's too small. They swipe it too goddamn fast. I hate soccer. There is nothing that I hate. Well, you shouldn't say that. There's no, there's no sport that I hate more than soccer. Except, you know, women's soccer. <laughs> Okay, so there's been some, some contention. Um, apparently there was, there was controversy because, uh, I don't even know this bitch's name. Megan Rapino, something like that. She's saying that there's like, uh, a gender pay gap. They keep talking about the wage gap, all that. It, okay, first of all. People don't watch women's soccer because it's not interesting. Women's sports just isn't as interesting as men's sports. I wish that this wasn't true, but it, it's true. Um, if they don't generate as much money as men do, they're not going to get paid as much. That's just, that's just a fact, you guys. Because we do live in a capitalist country, okay? And we got to make a profit. And if you don't make as much of a profit, as people with a penis and people don't watch your sport your sporting event because it's just not as interesting as a sporting event where there are men playing the sport sorry you know I, I don't understand like what this argument is even about and furthermore John F. Kennedy signed something called the Equal Pay Act in 1963 so I'm sure that there are some disparities, but that doesn't mean that it's this general discrimination all across the board. I mean, I work in two restaurants and there are some women that make more than men. And if you talk about the service industry, particularly like restaurant work, bartending, all that, women make considerably more than men. Um, I think it's because women are better at being fake. Not to say that men can't do it, but... I mean, I've seen a lot of really awesome bartenders that are male, but it's like, I can understand why, why females are better in that position. But... It, it's just stupid. Like, these arguments are just stupid. Like, 
You ever heard an argument and you're like, why is this a conversation? That, that's an argument with a liberal, okay? Um, but uh, I know, I knock on uh, liberals a lot. I, cause, because they're just stupid. They're just fucking stupid. And they say stupid things all the time. And they have stupid beliefs that don't make a lick of sense. And they want to act like they're the noble ones. They're the smart ones. They're they're the ones that really really care. You know you want you want to prove that you care. Just just be just be fucking ignorant. Just <laughs> don't do any research. Don't look up what you're talking about. Just make sure to remain ignorant. Now, I have seen this sort of ignorance. Like when I was going to church, I saw it a lot. Like I would get into very heated arguments with people over like the subject of homosexuality. And people would say, do you believe in science or God? And I said, I think that God believes in science. <laughs> and I'd really throw them through a fucking loop. But we're not talking about climate change, okay? We're talking about genetics. And I don't think that you can compare homosexuality to uh, well I mean they are now which I guess is just proof that the progressive agendas are always really twisted but um, it's like they were trying to say that you know like the Anita Bakers they were trying to say that like homosexuality was like the equivalent to like being a pederast which really pisses me off, but um, one is consensual and one ain't. But here's the thing. I mean, they really are doing that now. That's what's crazy about it. Um, okay, hold on one second. I bet my cats will not be expecting me. Cats don't expect anything other than food. I mean, <laughs> that's really all they want in life. It's just food and fucking attention. When they want the attention, not when you want to give it to them, but specifically when they want it and only when they want it. But, uh, just take in your purse, man. You got too much money. You don't want people to be stealing your money. That's true. But yeah, so they gave me this little, uh, where is it? Look at this shit. Duo Brie. Hello, betazol, propionate, and tazeratine lotion. Yeah, you know that's not good. You can't even fucking pronounce it. <laughs> the thing is, they were like, do you want the medication? I was like, look, I'll go out of my way not to have to take medication. Like, I really don't care if it's not gonna kill me. I don't give a fuck about it. <laughs> but it might be free and it might look more aesthetically pleasing if I apply this cream twice a day. But I have it on my knees too and I remember when I saw this shit I thought that I like burned myself or something. It turns out a doctor can explain it. So that's convenient. I told her, I was like, this is the reason I came. <laughs> but, uh... Okay.
promise, these angles are gonna get better. <laughs> it's all right. I think you're you're pretty decent at, at shooting, though. Like, you're interesting. The way that you film is interesting. It's very like voyeuristic. I mean, obviously, since you're filming your bathroom experiences. Hey, babies. Guess who's home? <laughs> it's not a robber. <laughs> Don't want him to steal my MAGA hat. <laughs> yeah, that'll be the first thing they go for. <laughs> okay, turns out I didn't leave my milk out. That's good. That's good. This is the milk I'm talking about, by the way. Look at that happy cow. Aww. He's a happy cow because he's on a cart and he's not, he's not being given a bunch of hormones. Yay! See, the reason why it's so expensive? Uh, extraordinary care and comfort for our cows. Exceptional quality milk standards. Traceability back to our farms. Continual pursuit of sustainable farming. I like the last one. The first one and the last one, preferably. Anyway. Wrap some more cookies since I gave like I think I gave away like six last night. Cause that's kind of shit that I do for people, you guys. I give people weed cookies and I'm not even enjoying the fruits of my labor. <laughs> it really is like a, a totally like hippie Grateful Dead-esque. <laughs> no, really, the Grateful Dead, they used to give away, like, acid. They used to provide free concerts, free food, even free lodging, man. I mean, they were all about that hippie shit. So, I strive to be that, comedy-wise. And just, just in my life. And also because I used to be a terrible, terrible person that rationalized stealing shit from people all because I need this shit. So, that's a common rationalization that thieves will make if they, you know, uh, are on drugs. They don't even have to be on drugs, but most of the time they are. It's not like they're stealing to like feed their family. I don't understand that. But most of the time, they're just stealing so they can get high. But, uh, over that, so lucky to be over that. A lot of people aren't so lucky because they haven't found God yet. But here's the thing, like, even with God, you know, you can still make all kinds of mistakes. And you can rationalize them too. Um, and I have to be careful with that, especially in regards to schizophrenia, because I can, you know, tell myself like, this was meant to happen. You know, that's common. It's common rationale for me. This was meant to happen. Oh, by the way. Okay, so. How much is this bill? Seventy dollars and ninety-nine cents. Why don't you just make it even seventy-one and call it a day? Jesus Christ. Okay, sixty. <laughs> Seventy-one. Can't wait for that penny back. 
Then I can go to town. <laughs> But yeah, so I guess that's what psoriasis looks like. You know, it's funny because I'd always heard the term psoriasis. I was like, what the fuck is that? That's just some made up shit. <laughs> yeah, but that was a fun experience. Doctor visits are usually not fun. But they're, they're more fun when they tell you the stuff you want to hear, like, no, you don't have cancer, you are just a paranoid person. Don't worry. It's all in your head. Right? This is a comedy guillotine, like right here. My head be cut off. They say it's only painful for like a minute. I'm so I'm sure the pain is like excruciating though, right? But here's the thing. If you've committed some heinous crime, so heinous that they talk about it on Law and Order SVU, well, uh, I mean that that's the cheapest form of execution. It's super cheap. They say it's like cruel and unusual punishment. I don't think so. You just chop a motherfucker's head off. It only hurts for like a minute. Then you like, you don't have to deal with them anymore and then we have their head. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, really, it makes the most sense to me. But then again, it is kind of like narcissistic. Like if somebody did something fucked up and they're real proud of it, they're like, yeah. Now you can remember me forever. You got my fucking head. I'm just seeing the bigger picture of this, you know? <laughs> what time is it? 4.42. Did I heat this? I don't know, I don't think so. Cause you would remember if you did. God, these cookies smell so good though, man. You can smell that weed. It's pretty strong. You see, last night, people might think it's stupid that I give away weed, but it's like, no, dude. They'll remember it. They'll remember me. They'll remember you know, the generous act, and they will also be more likely to buy from me because they'll know that I'm like a decent ass person. Hopefully they'll remember that. Like I said, I used to not be. I used to steal from my friends and family, so don't think so highly of the vortex. There was a time in my life where I could rationalize being a total shithead. That's not acceptable because I was high or drunk. I'm still a thief. I'll be honest, I still steal pens, okay? So if there's a pen lying around, I pocket it immediately. <laughs> Especially if it's a good pen. Unless I know the person, I'm like, look, I, I don't feel right about this, here you go, here's your pen back. I had it for like five minutes, but I, I don't feel right about it. Um, Yes, so a lot of people pocket lighters. I'm really good about not doing that. I mean, I don't even smoke anymore. It's kind of a moot point, but when I did smoke, I mean, I usually had a lighter though, that's the thing. I can never understand that. If you're a smoker, why do you never have a lighter? <laughs> that just seems silly, y'all. Thinking about the bigger picture. You know? <laughs> I'm gonna end this video and start another one.